welcome to our November membership meeting. I'm Rita Verde, your board president. We had the opportunity to come outside today. It's a beautiful day. Thank you to all of those who have renewed their membership. And we continue to invite uh, those that are not members uh, to become Arts Consortium members, please. Our executive director's report will be given uh, to you by Ampelio Mejia and he will give you all of the happenings of the Arts Consortium. We have a fantastic presentation by Kathy Falconer, and we welcome her to our November membership meeting, and she'll be giving you all the details behind an art contest that she had for you. We'd also like to ask you to submit any announcements that you have to hello at artsconsortium.org. Our next meeting, a membership meeting, will be held on December 14th, and we are really going to try to have our social at that time, and we also approve our um, new board members and at that time, and we also approve our slate of officers. So it's a very important meeting, and we'd like to make sure to invite you to come December 14th, and remember, there'll be goodies. So we thank you again for joining us this evening. Well, good evening. We're so glad that you joined us here at our November uh, Art Consortium's monthly meeting. And my name is Kathy Falconer, and I'm here to share something that took me a whole year to do, and that was the Recycle Art Contest, Eco Create. Recycle the ordinary and create extraordinary. And I am hopeful that all of you will be a part of a second annual Eco Create contest. I am very happy that I returned back to uh, Visalia and, and I joined the Visalia Environmental Committee and found that I needed to work on adjusting and uh, improving the environmental conditions here, especially impacting the uh, Valley youth. And as co chair for the Earth Day 2020, the 50th anniversary, I was given approval to um, operate a um, EcoCreate Recycle Art Contest, and thus the year began. It was open to all of the Visalia students, that means charter, public, and um, a private, as well as all adults in Tulare County. And it was judged by artists, um, professional artists, educators, and administrators. We were to have the deadline for entry on March 15th. Well, that didn't happen. And we postponed uh, Earth Day to September, and it was later canceled. But we continued to maintain an August 15th deadline for people to submit their artwork. When we finally judged some of the projects, we realized that the people didn't have um, an exact idea of what was recyclable and what was not. The city was kind enough to have us a a whole section on our website that would provide all of the details. So the first thing I would suggest you do when you're thinking about doing this, go online to gogreenvisaya.com and look at their brochure as to what is recyclable and what is not. The events were developed into a flyer and so I approached the Visay Unified School District, all of the principals of the elementary and middle school and high schools, art instructors in the high schools, both public and private, news articles, PowerPoint presentations to churches, pro-youth, the Parks and Rec for their summer youth, COS, Interclub Council, the City uh, Council, had a banner at each one of their meetings. I even went so far as to put, when we were closed down, to put a flyer on the transit buses that said, here's a fun activity for the whole family. Do your art. Sit around the kitchen table and create art together as a family. Charles Newman uh, volunteered to do a workshop for high school students giving them ideas of what they could do. We went finally to the judging. It was August 15th, all the materials were in. They had submitted them all by JPEGs. They had a code name to them. And so I put together uh, the listings of all of those that were sixth, fourth through sixth, or third, for TK through third, or high school. And I sent them off to judges, three judges for each category. And I asked them to look at these 50% for artistry and originality, and that means the wow factor and the use of recycled artwork in a whole different way. 
25% was workmanship. It was for details. And then we had the winners announced at the September 8th city council meeting. I couldn't have the kids come in. I couldn't have the artists present. I couldn't even have the art pieces there, but I created images and I showed them for their categories. The uh, images were placed on the window at the uh, Fox Theater, the box office window so that everybody could see it from then September 9th through the 23rd. So we congratulate for the first annual uh, art contest, those who met the challenge and vision to use discarded items to create art. And we thank art consortiums for their wonderful support in an amazing grant that made this all happen. Applaud the judges that took away from time and their family to judge these pieces. And I look forward to having those students that are interested become a part of the second annual. And I hope this gives you some inspiration as to what you can do to try and play around with, with the arts over a period of time. But if we, if we plan to do it, it will be for the April 24th Earth Day. If we do not do it in person, we will do it as we did this year. Recycle art, it's easy. Just do a plan, draw a plan, figure a structure you want to picture, and then create. You've got many different ways to do it, and then JPEG it. If any of you were planning to do an event, whether it be a recycle art contest, whether it be an auction, whatever it might be, one thing I would recommend before you even got started is have a network, a group of people, a small group that are enthusiastic, motivated, and they want to be a part of it. I found a great deal of support from the staff at COS. Uh, Amy Rangel was amazing in providing the details for uh, just doing the image, image, taking images for the submittal. You have to really put together an organizing framework of the steps you're going to take um, from the collection of people to participate, where you think the advertising would go, reach out to people that do Facebook. The second thing I would make sure you had was funds. First, figure out your budget. What are you gonna need? What's your costs? And project a little higher than those costs could be. I wait until about two weeks, maybe three weeks before the event, before you're gonna plaster it. Uh, you could do uh, coming events on Facebook. This is what's gonna happen in this hour, or hey, check out the date, you know, Put that on your calendar. We're going to have this. But the actual literature that you're going to, the flyers that you're going to post or distribute, I would wait. And be aware that having people talk and spread the word might be your best resource, knowing not what's going to happen in the future. And then have a follow-up at the end. Plan for a celebration. And then have a good time. Enjoy it. Have fun. Thank you so much for letting me share this opportunity with you. And I hope all of you will step on and add a little bit of recycle to your work. Thank you. Yeah. I'm really glad that you're here. I really appreciate your presence here. I really appreciate your input on everything that we do. So please share it. Thank you for watching our first Friday show featuring John Coppola. That was a whole lot of fun. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation by Kathy Falconer talking about her Eco Create contest, which is going to come back next spring. I want to acknowledge Pam and Ed for their work on our website. They have been spending a lot of time making sure that it's user friendly, that it is very specific to our arts consortium, and that really you can find whatever you need here. So if you come on here and you look for some stuff and you can't find it, then please let us know so that we make sure that we can include the information. Otherwise, please give kudos to Ed and Pam because our website has never looked better. So thank you, Pam. Thank you, Ed. I just wanted to bring you guys to our website, artsconsortium.org, so that I could show you that we have this little tab here, Artist Opportunities. Not only does it talk about the juried watermark special edition, which is going on now. We've gotten our submissions closed up and we're working on putting the magazine together. But it also has this virtual special event application. This is what you would go to if you wanted to either promote your own open studio coming up or if you have a business that works with the arts, an arts organization, 
and you want to come to our first Friday or membership meeting and talk about your organization, there's no application fee, no participation fee. We're accepting two applications per month. So come on through. Let us know what you think. Also in the Artist Opportunities tab, there is still the COVID relief arts funding for Tulare County. Again, this is for arts organizations who have been focusing in the Black, Indigenous, or People of Color community. And please apply. There are funds available. And um, everybody will get something. Another big thing that's happened is that we have finished our county project at Bear Creek Bridge. And that's extremely exciting because it's a project that started in late 2018. These tiles are amazing. They're ceramic tiles, full stoneware, and they're very large for, for the material. So it came with a lot of complications. There was a big learning curve, not only on our end, but the artist's end and the county's end. So we're really grateful that this actually went through. These are the finished tiles. They look amazing. They're going up. Uh, they, they may already be up completely, but they were going up last week. Not sure how the process went with the rain over the weekend, but these things are amazing. And thank you, Antonio Cuellar. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Thank you to the Resource Management Agency for including us in this project. We're super proud to be able to have something so meaningful on a piece of architecture in Tulare County made by a Tulare County artist. So thank you very much for making that a, a possibility. And if you are interested in participating in one of these bridge projects, then please get a hold of us at hello at artsconsortium.org. Let us know that you want to be included in this list so that when these projects come up, we have, we have your information and we know that you're interested. Our special program, the Chicano Art History Engagement Project, has been working on a few different projects. And their current series right now is the Seen and Unseen series, which is focusing on the art of a group known as the Royal Chicano Air Force. And so our special program is kind of making connections between their age, our age, the relevances between the seen and unseen. So here's uh, the first poster that they put together. And then the second event was to, to give, give a platform to some of the quietest voices in our community. And we have, uh, we have them bringing together another event here coming up in November. So we'll be sharing a Zoom link for you guys, and there will be some information in the Vice of the Times out there about that as well. So we're really excited about it, and please make sure to check it out. Hey, I want to thank you very much for being here. Thank you for always participating with us, and please like, comment, and subscribe like we've said multiple times. It really will help us in the end, and thank you guys so much.